Apparently, I'm not allowed to poop or shower ever. Camp Adventures. Good morning. Welcome back to Gimp Adventures. So, yeah, um, Mel likes to, you know, she would used to always call me when I was on the toilet or in the shower. And lately, she's been knocking on my door every time I'm on the crapper. And she just did it while I was in the shower. Apparently she doesn't want me to get clean or take a crap. Why for are you so against me going poop and taking showers? That's important. All that matters. If I never know you're doing it. You have very bad timing. Always when I'm showering. Or pooping. Or something. Alright, so on today's agenda. I'm heading to the doctor, and they're going to be looking at my back, my spine. Uh, they, this, I thought it was just going to be like a fancy physical therapist, but I guess it's a spine doctor. You know, I thought they were going to be looking at my shoulders and back together, but from the sounds of it, this is just a guy looking at my back, which is nice, I guess, but, uh, whatever, you know, it's, stuff's getting looked at, and hopefully they'll tell me something more than, oh, you just have some pulled muscles that never get healed, maybe they can actually do something about it, but, I don't know, we'll see, oh, that was fun actually got fondled up this time and I wasn't even really prepared for it. <laughs> he like checked out my knees and sensation in my feet and all that stuff. This guy was really thorough so that was really cool and gave me a cortisone injection in my shoulder so that was fun and I didn't shake like I did last time when, when I got the last the first cortisone injection in my shoulder, I, I was not prepared for it at all, and I, I was literally starting to freak out and just shaking. Like, <laughs> I don't know why, I was just freaked out and I just shaking, and they thought I was cold because the room they had, had me in was like it's two like or three MRI. rooms down from the MRI machine, so the MRIs have to be kept, you know, really cold. So, it was like insanely cold in that room. <laughs> but, eh, it's feeling a little better right now. But, uh, we'll see in a day or two. Hopefully I won't be stupid and get fooled like I did uh, the last time. It started to feel so good and I was picking up a gallon of distilled water and like, It doesn't hurt! It doesn't hurt! Oh my god! Ten minutes later, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> yeah, I, I was dumb. I won't be dumb this time. I will be smart. Yeah, I'm sure I'll be stupid at some point. Though. Oh. Oh, this one is bad. You know, when I got the last cortisone injection. It didn't hurt nearly this bad, but then the guy mixed a couple different anesthetics in with the cortisone. Uh, this guy that did this one just put one anesthetic in with it, just a little bit of lidocaine. So it started to feel better almost immediately, you know, maybe a minute or two afterwards, but now it hurts like a son of a bitch. And I had to have Mel come and feed the cats for me because there was no way I'd have been able to bend over to pick up their bowl and she helped rub some pain reliever cream on it for me. And 
Uh, yeah, but, oh, it it hurts some fears right now. It's bad. So. Camp Adventures, making our way one push at a time.